Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the match reaction. Southampton 1, Everton 0. Another rubbish performance from the Toffees ending in an embarrassing defeat. And that's exactly what it is. It's absolutely embarrassing. I need to put in that, Mikel Arteta. It's embarrassing. It's a disgrace. That's what it is, a disgrace. Because that's what it was. Pathetic performance, pathetic substitutions, pathetic in-game management and ended in a pathetic result. And that's the way it is. It, you know, this team that hasn't kept a clean sheet all season, just embarrassing. Uh, there's not even I'm not even angry because what's the point? You know what you're going to get from this manager before you watch it. You're not going to see any good football. And we've just got to see the season out. And that's the way it is. And hopefully we'll get enough points. Um, there shouldn't be any doubt at all that Everton stay up this season, none whatsoever. You'll put anybody in charge and Everton, in my opinion, would stay up this season. But that is yeah, it's not like you say, I'm not I'm, I'm not gonna get too angry over it because what's the really what is the point? You'll get people defending it, and that's fine. Everyone watches their own game and gets out of it what they want. Uh, but there's a whole world out there. You went with Michael Keane over Jared Branthwaite again, another hugely strange decision from him. Uh, Jesper Lindstrom came in, Mangala came in, and it was a very predictable sort of game. Southampton, we know that they like the ball. They, they're not very good in the final third, but they knock it around really well. I think Russell Martin's coached them really well. They play nice football, but you can get opportunities. And Everton nicked it a few times, and wrong decisions uh, let them down. Lindstrom had a free kick early on, which was a comfortable catch for Ramsdale. But Everton just couldn't really. I don't know. We just run out of ideas. We're, you know, I'm I'm saying Southampton rubbish in the final third, and they are. Cameron, they are. The, the strikers are really poor. But we're very similar when we make with our decision making when we get into the final third. And Jai decision making today wasn't great. Lindstrom not great. And McNeil was poor the whole day. Had a shocking game really. Dwight McNeil didn't look fit. Dom couldn't get into it. And therefore, when you nick the ball, nothing really comes comes from it. Because those players who, are, who you trust to try to create something aren't making the right decision. And You know, we were dreadful last week against Fulham. Said it all week. And people have tried to pass it off as one of them games. Well, what was today then? Because today was even worse against the team, bottom of the league. Or eight defeats in nine games before today. And I don't, again, I'm not digging Southampton. They've they spent any money. What do you expect? They play in a way. Russell Martin's got them playing in a way. They knock it about. You know what you're getting from them. And the well coached, like I said. But they, you have got opportunities to, to hurt them. And, and that's what everyone else has done this season, apart from Everton. And the only other team you've got a point off is a team who come up with them, which was Ipswich. And Ipswich got a late equaliser, so it's nothing to be surprised today. And I don't understand the manager. Don't understand the tactics, the shocking. And don't know why he doesn't go all in on 4-4-2. Especially against teams like this, put them under pressure. Or 3-5-2, and we didn't. And it, the game just peters out the same. You just watch it. Nothing happens. You're hoping to get a corner or a free kick. For Tarkovsky to edit back across goal, it's it's pathetic, really. Um, yeah, nil nil at half time. They they done very little in the game as well. Pickford knock one out of the way of someone running onto it. That was really. Then they had a camera and Archer shot, which went wide. That was it. That was it. And we, you know, I'm not saying Everton had loads of chances because we didn't. Second half. Come out for the second half. They brought Joe Rebo on at half time. We come out and again waiting for things to happen in the second half with without anything happening. The manager made curious double substitution after an hour and Jai Fuman was shaking his head, wasn't happy. Walked down the tunnel. I don't know whether he came back, but he went straight down. Dom wasn't happy. Put Beto on, put Jack Harrison on. Moves people about. We had half chances. Jack Harrison should have done better. Ball in by McNeely should have done better. Dinked it over the keeper, put it wide somehow. Michael Key missed an absolute sitter, but it was a good save as well from Ramsdale, but he should be scoring there. 
I'm better almost an absolute sitter from a, a Tarkovsky volley back across. You know, he should be scoring. He's headed it against the crossbar. He should be scoring. And a minute later, they broke and scored. And nothing was more predictable than what was going to happen. And Adam Armstrong, who doesn't gen generally score goals in the Premier League, has got his, you know, has side-footed it. Michalenko has, looks like he moves out the way, or I don't know what he's trying to do. And it goes into the net and... You know that the, the opportunity to win the game is gone. You know, Beto scored a good goal, um, which went to VAR. And obviously, when it goes to VAR, you know they're looking for a way to rule it out, which is what they did. Great first touch, good finish. and uh, But VAR have said it's offside, so you have to take that medicine, don't you? And then after that, we've not really... We've not done anything, and Southampton have won and got the win. And Everton are in... A, are in a terrible place. They've won two games of football in 10, seven in 11 months. A absolutely horrific record. Um, I don't care who you are, you cannot defend a record like that and try to convince people it's all right because them results are shocking. With players, the results should be way better. It'd be, it'd be half decent if we try to go and win games of football, but this way of playing is outdated. It's It's awful. And it needs up. We need to upgrade it. The manager needs to stop sitting on the fence and have a go at teams. The only way everybody else is trying to win games, and we're trying to nick it off a corner or a set piece in twenty twenty four. I'm sorry, it isn't a tactic. Throwing a centre back up front with five minutes left or three minutes left, that isn't a tactic. That's just embarrassing. That's what the dog and duck will do. It's always the dog and duck, isn't it? That's what a, a pub team will do tomorrow morning. Throw a big yard dog up front and hope that he can get on the end or something. That isn't football tactics. Got to be better. But throwing points away. Fulham weren't great last week. We could we allowed them all of the ball. We allowed you know we end up scraping a draw, and today we haven't been able to scrape a draw against the team who was bottom of the league. If, you know, fair play to Southampton. They'll enjoy the win, and so they should. But. I'm sorry if you sit there and think that that was acceptable and what you're witnessing this season is acceptable, then okay. I don't. I think it's dreadful. And I think we're getting done down. And it's for me, it has to change and he's got to change. The manager has got to do something about it. Got to go after teams. We've put ourselves into, well, or we're talking like we're in this relegation battle and it's everything. We haven't, you know, we've got a team. We've not been able to bring players in. I think there's 11 or 12 new players have come in in his tenure. We're talking like, you know, they're all, he's been handed National League level players and it's unbelievable what he's doing. No, that's just someone protecting themselves. We've got to go after teams. We go after teams, we'll get results. We will. But we can't do what we've done today. We've got another tough game next, you know, a really tough, proper tough game next week, West Ham away, who are far better than Southampton with more more dangerous plays in the final third. And what are we going to do? Go and give them, what have we had today, 30% possession or 35% possession or whatever. We're going to go and do the same next week at West Ham course we are and hope that we get a different outcome. Not good. It's just not good enough. It's not good enough. And yeah, it's, you've got to just sort of shrug your shoulders, roll on me. That's all I can say. Just can't wait for May and this season's done and dusted and then we move and, and, and hopefully there's big changes at the football club and we can go after teams again. Until then, it's going to be like this. We, we might win the odd game. Here and there, we'll get draws. We'll pick points up. That's just how it is. Uh, man of the match. Thought Mangala done all right. Um, Young, was, was I suppose, was all right. In the main, I'm so sorry. Maybe Mangale, give it to him. But that's it. That says it all, doesn't it? Two absolutely woeful performances, um, and three out the last four have been woeful. If we're honest, Newcastle was a poor performance. Decent to Ipswich, but they they're not a great side, and the last two have been absolutely woeful. So. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Nothing nearly else to say, is there, on that? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Tell me why it's good. Tell me why you think it's it's all acceptable and it's good. 
let me know in the comments section. So what's in see you later.